Hi everybody, so this is another test on my wind simulator. Uh, today I'll be testing the amount of current draw on the TMC blowers and later I'll compare it to the CFO blowers. So with this test I've hooked up a little shunt into the circuit here. Um, that's a 5 amp with a 50 millivolt drop so on the multimeter here when it's drawing 5 amps you'll see uh, a number 50 on there so basically just move the um, decimal point one place to the left and that will be how much amps it will be drawing so these two are rated at um, 10 amps each so what I'm going to do is I am going to slowly increase the fan speed up to maximum and we'll watch what the amperage shows. Again, I'll be using iRacing Fanboy to do that. So I'm going to start the fans now. So we'll see now it's at, uh, that would be um, 0 0.3 of an amp. So that's just how much the monster motors draw when they're idle. So I'll start the fans now. So there we saw a peak of 14 amps, so that's uh, 7 amps per blower. So it's a bit lower than the 10 amps that they um, state on the blower, but it's still higher than the 6 amp on the Seaflow. So um, what I've done is I've connected up some little uh, quick connects here, so I can just uh, swap these out for some Seaflow blowers and we'll repeat the test again and we will see what we get with the CFO blowers. So now we're back with the same test on the CFO blowers. So I'll do the same, I'll ramp the fans up from idle up to full speed and we'll see what the amperage draw is. Remember it's uh, 5 amps is 50 millivolts so you'll see, so just move the decimal point one place to the left and that'll be how many amps it is drawing. So we'll go ahead and we will start the fans up and we'll ramp up to the top speed. So there we saw around about 9 amps for both of the, fan, both of the blowers, so that's uh, 4.5 amps each. Now these are rated at uh, 6 amps each, so again they're below their rated uh, draw capacity, but they're still considerably lower than the 7 amps that the TMC blowers were drawing. Uh, this is why you get a lot hotter Monster Motors and why you need to run a heatsink and a fan with the TMCs because you're going up from 9, 9 amps up to 14 amps. So for power supplies, I would for the TMCs, I would definitely run a 20 amp. Uh, 15 amp would be running really close to maximum, so I'd go up to a... 20 amp for the TMCs and for the C flows I'd go up to 15 because 9 amps quite high to a close to a 10 amp power supply so 
again for the C amp, for the C flow ones you'd be fine running a 15 amp power supply and for the TMCs you'd be fine running a 20 amp power supply. Okay, hope that helps guys, see ya.